green eggs and soup. Oh, it's taste of spring. Today on the menu, sorrel soup, zupa szczawiowa. I, it's springtime in Poland and I go to the market a lot. And I look what's available and that's how I decide what to cook. I went to the market yesterday. I found this beautiful sorrel. Look it. It's gigantic, size of my head. This is one bundle. So I decided to show you how to make soup today, sorrel soup. <clears throat> for this recipe, and I'm posting a link for mine in the description of this video, I'm also posting a link to my merch shop where you can buy this beautiful apron, which you will need for this recipe because it will splash everywhere. Um, for this recipe, you'll need about a pound of sorrel. This is a little bit more, but I'm just gonna use it all and it's gonna just give us more flavor. I'm taking shortcuts in my kitchen today because I know you guys are busy. It's springtime, nobody wants to sit in the kitchen and cook. So a chopping time of cooking in half by using prepped stock. I know in the States, I used to do it all the time. Shortcuts are great. I used to buy boxed stock, chicken stock or vegetable stock and make soups out of it. You don't have to mess with the chicken. You don't have to make the stock. You don't need to make, get the vegetables for the stock. So I have my stock ready, ready already already, and this will make soup in no time. All we gotta do is wash this guy real well, saute it a little bit, and then we'll be on our way. So let's get to it. Look, I took leaves off the big stems and I'm just bundling them up and roughly chopping the big leaves into smaller pieces. Most of the soup will get blended, so we don't have to worry too much about how big this is. But we're gonna leave some of the leaves unblended just so there's a little bit of texture to the soup. If you've ever had raw sorrel, it, uh, it looks kind of like spinach, as you can see, but it tastes sour. Something about sour foods and Polish people, I don't know. We really eat a lot of sour, sour pickles, sour cabbage, and now this sorrel, which is naturally sour. And it grows in, in not in the wild. <laughs> How do you say that? It grows like what? A weed. Like a weed. It grows, you can see it all the time along, you know, fields and roads. And we used to pick it when we were kids and eat it right off the stem. It's nice and fun and sour flavored. So we have our sorrel stuff all chopped. Now we're gonna move over to the stove. I have a couple tablespoons of butter heating here. So I'm just uh, gonna add this sorrel. Ooh, baby. It is hot. And we want to weld this and cook it a little bit. So I'm just stirring in the butter and this is going to drastically uh, shrink in size just because it's a leaf and it acts like, acts like spinach. I'm going to add a little bit of salt into here, but not too much, probably half a teaspoon just to add a little bit of flavor but my stock is already salty so I don't want to add too much I can also uh, always adjust at the end which is preferable oh I can smell the sorrel it's very specific have you do you remember eating sorrel I don't. In no. America, seeing it? No, you. I mean, for a sour thing, rhubarb. Grandma always used to have rhubarb. Yeah. Rhubarb, but that's that's different than sorrel. I don't. I don't remember having sorrel. Not in Wisconsin. Maybe in other part of the country. Any other parts of the country? Do you eat sorrel? Tell us about your sorrel plantations. Um, I, I guess I've heard from our viewers and readers 
uh, about people having sorrel in their garden, which probably is the easiest. I have never seen it uh, at a store. So if you have it, this will be perfect for you. So we want this to cook off the water, which kind of, uh, there's a lot from, one from washing. Make sure to wash this really well. It collects sand in between the ruffles of the leaves. So we want to make sure this is not grainy soup. It may be only granny soup. Okay, get it? <laughs> Most of our sorrel juice has co cooked off. And now if you, if you look at the recipe, I have uh, two options for you. You can start with raw chicken and some vegetables and the Polish soup trio and uh, make your stock. You would also add vegetables to it, like carrots and parsley root and stuff. If you're, doing, if you're going that route, you would also have some boiled carrots and parsnip um, and parsley root and some uh, celery. So you would you also use that in our soup. Since we're not making our stock right now, we're just using uh, pre-made or stock that I made the other day. We don't have those veggies. But you would throw them in uh, right after, or part of them, right before blending and just save the carrots because they look nice in the soup so i sweated the sorrel leaves um, most of the water evaporated there was maybe a couple tablespoons on the bottom which is fine now i've, I've added the stock and we want to bring this to boil oopsie i forgot to take some sorrel out i wanted to take some out so when i blend it after i blend it i can add it back in so i'm going to try to fish some out How's this? Perfect. How's this for a chef? That's chef Hey, this works. Just a little bit for color. So I'm just gonna uh, plop it over here. And like I said, if you had your uh, par parsley root and celery in here, you would uh, blend this all together. But I'm gonna let it come up to a boil. In the meantime, we'll work on our eggs and toast. Kind of like breakfast, but it's not. To serve our uh, beautiful sorrel soup, we're gonna need some toast. So I've toasted uh, pieces of bread, in, you can do it in the oven or under the broiler or in the toaster. And then we're gonna get, add a little bit more flavor by rubbing some garlic to it, onto it. <laughs> so you're just gonna need a um, clove, not clove, a clove of garlic, yes, clove of garlic, uh, peeled and some toast and you just rub it on. Do you have a question? I have a question. What do they call a clove of garlic in Polish? Uh, Zombek Czosnku, which tra mean? translates to a tooth of uh, garlic. A tooth of garlic. So I'm rubbing this on, and then <clears throat> these little toasties, garlic toasties, are gonna go on top of our sorrel soup and it's just another layer of flavor that we're gonna inject into our soup and these the puppies are so delicious you can also put some butter on them if you really wanted to but I'm not gonna today and this soup um, we, I think I've mentioned this before, <clears throat> Polish kitchen is very seasonal and we kind of cook based on what we can get uh, at a certain time of the year. Sorrel is only available during the springtime, like now. So we take advantage of those new spring flavors that are coming to us again and that way our food doesn't really get so boring because we don't eat it year round so then you, you look forward to it when springtime comes. So this is one of those. And then we'd make 
I always look forward to those new flavors of the spring. And then I, sorrel will probably go out of season soon, but before that, I'll make this soup like six or seven times or eight times, and I'll get enough of it, and then I won't have it till, till next season. So it's kind of nice that way. I also have two eggs here. We're also gonna serve it on top of our soup. So I normally just slice it and then go in, just kind of roughly, just to break it apart. And then I put it in a bowl and just kind of go like this. And then take a fork and smash it some more. Because I want to sprinkle it on top of the soup. You could just have them, have your boiled your boiled eggs, and put them on top also. But I think this is kind of fun. You can get your kids to do this part, or <clears throat> garlic your toast. And if you're like, if your kids are like mine. They're more, more likely to eat it if they have contributed to their dish. So get them in the kitchen. Let them see what mom or dad is doing or grandma or grandpa. So I think our soup is heating up now. We'll give it a taste. Come on. Our soup is almost done. This uh, stock has come up to a boil for me again. And I want to blend everything that's in it. So if you had your veggies in there, make sure to wear an apron because this will go splattering. Um, if you had your, uh, leave the carrot out, but if you have pars parsley and celery, put in your soup and blend it all together. And it's gonna take on this nice and dark green color. Can I do this in a normal blender if I don't have an immersion blender? I guess you could. You could also not blend it at all. But I think it looks better blended. But you could put it in your normal stand-up, like a stand-up blender, you call it. Yeah. And just watch out, because hot kind of blows up in the blender. So just be careful. A little bit more. This soup also reminds me of kindergarten. They would serve this, and it's pretty pretty popular, and to serve this soup in kindergarten in Poland. So don't tell me that your kids won't don't want to eat food because food is good. You just got to make it for them and serve it. This is blendy enough, I think. And I'm gonna add this unblended sorrel into here. Look how nice and green it looks. Doesn't it look delicious? Mm -hmm. Now if I can get my spoon out without taking out all the sorrel. And give it a taste, see if we need anything else. It's nice and hot. You could add a little bit of cream if you wanted to. I do sometimes, but you don't have to. Oh yeah, and a little bit more pepper, also to taste. Very personal. Just kind of try it and see. And we are going to pour it into my plate. I'll turn this off now. And it's nice and. The, it thickened up a little bit from uh, blending it earlier. <laughs> I know you're going to say it's weird because it's green like this. But doesn't it look good? You think? I'll eat it. Does it look good to you or does it look weird? It is weird, but it's also good. <clears throat> I'm just going to move this off. Because weird? Good can be weird, and weird can be good, right? And then you're gonna throw some of these croutons on top. 
and a little bit of your egg. And there's your soup. You can stir it up and taste it. You can tell your kids it's, uh, what's that character? G green eggs and ham. There you go, green eggs and soup. Green eggs and soup. Oh, it's a taste of spring. You can put a little bit of fresh herbs, whatever you have, dill, parsley, even uh, fresh marjoram if you have on top. And Bob's your uncle, soup's ready. Let's eat. I hope you make it at home. See how easy it is. Cook with your kids. Check out my recipes. Subscribe to my page so I know to make more videos for you and I'll see you next time. Smachnego.